welcome you to the Bamboo Research Group at the Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Delhi. This research group is concerned with structural engineering related research for bamboo. Now in this activity, we have three main focus. The first objective is to do complete engineering characterization of bamboo. If bamboo has to compete with conventional engineering materials like concrete and steel, then we should have complete details about its material properties, both strength and elasticity. Our second objective is to develop engineering design methodologies involving bamboo based on structural engineering principles so that in this aspect also bamboo can compete with steel and concrete. Thirdly and lastly, we want to develop some modular components which can be directly implemented in the field in pre-engineered fashion. So with these three aspects being covered, we are very sure that bamboo will find its acceptance among the structural engineering community. Thank you. Now we provide you a quick glimpse of the activities of this research group. We have several students working in our group at PhD, MTech and BTech level. Bamboo has very good competitive characteristics from strength point of view, especially with regard to strength per unit weight, it has a lot of advantage as compared to concrete and steel. Now students have performed extensive experiments and we have done a lot of measurement of the compressive strength and other mechanical properties of some prominent species of bamboo available in India. In addition, our students, they have come out with a novel connection mechanism by which bamboo can be combined with steel so that it has weldability properties also. Now with this weldability features, bamboo can be connected to concrete columns and it can be constructed in a pre-engineered fashion. The entire structure can be constructed in a very short period of time on the lines of the modern pre-engineered construction industry. Further, for less critical structures, our students have come out with designs and this is one of the structures, a bamboo-based geodesic drone. Here we have involved school children also. And for those members which require very large capacity in both flexure or compression, we have a PhD program underway and this is being done in collaboration with Trinity College, University of Dublin, Ireland. A BTEC student under us, he has come out with a novel uh, bamboo bicycle. We are doing field trials and so far we have got good results. So other details will be provided in the remaining parts of this video. Thank you. Hi, I am Pavan Rahul from the Civil Engineering Department of IIT Delhi. This is a bamboo bicycle which has been made by the Civil Engineering Bamboo Research Group under Professor uh, under uh, Dr. Suresh Balla. And uh, as you can see, the, the frame of the bicycle is made of, uh, fully made of bamboo. All the other parts we have taken from a scrap bicycle. So this is a very sustainable solution to the problems we are facing day by day. Uh, now I will demonstrate how I have assembled the, uh, the bicycle. As you can see, the, all the main parts of the frame, they have been made of bamboo. And uh, what we have done is, we have, used, we have used a mixture of hemp fiber and epoxy at the joints. As you can see, these are the main joints. At all the joints, we have used a mixture of hemp fiber and epoxy. And also to give additional strength to the joints, we have, we, we, we have even used clamps, which, uh, which, which we have actually found out from our research here at IIT, that clamps are very good for the joints uh, involving bamboo. So we have, we have developed special clamps and then we have used them to actually give more strength to, uh, to the joints. So uh, this is the bicycle and uh, 
and we have also done some static and dynamic testing on the bicycle to actually know what the, what is the safety factor or what kind of loads it can handle so in our static test on which we we loaded the the seat of the bicycle we found that it could it could, it could actually easily sustain loads up to 180 kgs in in the in the static test and also dynamic tests were, were, were performed using using <coughs> the, the patches pzt patches and in that also we found that it was uh, the load and the strain coming on the bicycle was manageable by the bamboo and uh, even this cycle it, it has i mean we we, we have performed a test on it we we regularly regularly tried it and what we have seen is that the bamboo that, that the bicycle is more flexible because of the bamboo and it's very light so uh, say uh, a normal bicycle would be 12 kg this is only 6 7 kg so it's very it, it it actually flows very smoothly so once we get into a habit of driving this it's very smooth compared to a normal bicycle so we <coughs> we'll be doing more research on the joints on if we can make the joints more stronger then this will be an excellent opportunity for the industry for the bamboo industry I'm Devakar Bhagat, professional structural engineer doing PhD at IIT Delhi, and joined in structural engineering department with a purpose to develop bamboo, design bamboo structures. This, the photograph which you are able to see, is a part column. We have tested under the uniaxial uh, test, and uh, the test results showed that it is very much comparable to any RCC or steel sections in compressive tests. And for the section being shown, the test values were 670 kilonewton for an effective section of 180 centimeter square, which is comparable to RCC and even steel. Further, we tested the bamboo composite beams, as you can see. And again, the beam, which was sized at 200 mm wide by 250 mm deep, as a standard test for a 2 meter long RCC beam, the results were very much comparable, and it showed good compatibility with any comparable. steel or rcc section as you can see at approximate depth of 110 mm is the neutral axis for a test conducted onto this and the readings taken for various levels of strain gauges and on terms of design philosophy it compares well with reinforced concrete section and steel section also these were the joints developed for column and beams which were again further tested under load at the tip to generate the equivalent moment as it would have experienced in any building frame which could be three or four story building frame hence further this is a basic unit model which our compatriot mr mukul along with me we tested at Trinity College Dublin, and uh, in which we applied vertical load as well as the horizontal load, which could simulate almost a earthquake condition like situation when a building sways under earthquake, and the moments are evolved at the junction supports and at the joints also. And while testing, the results were quite impressive. the vertical maximum load which we could apply was almost 140 kN that is 14 tons and the horizontal load was around 
50 kilonewton equivalent to 5 tons of load. This photo frame, as you can see, is the basic unit or module of a building frame. If you replicate it horizontally and vertically also, you get a complete building frame and the behavior can be read as if the response would have been for a complete building. So it's after the study of this basic unit, we are quite confident with the results what we have seen that we can build buildings out of this 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 uh, as you can see it's me mr mukul gupta professor west and dean and other colleagues and even my father shri kapil dev bhagat who is an iitm from uh, iit kharagpur 1965 so whole of us all this team worked very hard to accomplish this test future possibilities are we can use in this in two three story buildings which can be a modular shape of hexagon or it can be used in residential building and i would like to say further that basically discoveries and inventions are meant to be made for societal reasons. As you progress in life and situation, as the world is progressing, new technologies are being coming in and we need to adapt for the current scenario for future. So this effort, what we are able to see, is very much in correlation to that, that we can have bamboo sections, bamboo units, but the strength has to be very much comparable with any RCC section or steel section. The beauty of RCC section which is in use to develop buildings is that you can have any sized section of any RCC beam. That is how we are able to build buildings from 2 storey to 100 storeys. Similar is the case for steel sections also. You can have buildings which can be as high as 800 meters as you can see that is Burj Khalifa. So, you are able to see that RCC and steel is being used to build high capacity sections which is ultimately being used to build buildings. But in the case of bamboo, bamboo in itself, a single unit is a very, very thin slender section. No matter how much you try to build with them and with different kind of sections, there is always a possibility that each piece of bamboo in itself can give an ultimate capacity of its own section. The major part remains is to integrate all the bamboos to get a unified section which can be designed to any size and then thereby you can have a high capacity section by which you can actually use it in any size of the building. And once this is possible, as is the case with what has been develop, we can expect 3, 4, 5 storey buildings out of these sections. I hope this will solve the purpose. Hello everyone, my name is Mukul Gupta and I will talk on engineered bamboo structures for sustainable construction. Bamboo is very strong material and it is very eco-friendly in nature. Uh, we have developed some composite connections of bamboo and steel and we have tested them in compression. Uh, we, have, we have tested the several varieties of that, uh, like we have removed the layer of the bamboo. Uh, we have put the samples in the water and tested. We bought some graphs. And this is, this is the model of the frame which we are trying to fabricate by bamboos. Uh, these are the beams which we will use for the fabrication of bamboo portal frame. Uh, these are the connections of the beams. These are some joints of the frame. And these are also some joints of the frame. And these are the columns which we have fabricated in IIT Delhi. These, uh, these are columns for the frame for light loaded structures. These are fabricated on top of the foundations as you can see here. And this is the structure of the roofing system of that frame. And this is the entire picture of uh, the columns and the roofing system of bamboo structure. And this is the proposed model, proposed model which we will be making out of these frames. These are the two frames 
uh, which will be used in these structures and we will be hopefully we will be fabricating this structure in IIT Delhi. This is another view of the same structures. As you can see these are those two frames and we will cover that structure with some material. See? And uh, <coughs> basically bamboo, bamboo houses are very suitable for earthquake prone areas and flood prone areas. Billions of homeless people could get effective housing and these bamboo houses are quite affordable. Its introduction in construction will decrease the uh, pollution level and make earth a better place to live. Its introduction, its introduction will increase bamboo farming, it will increase dairy and farmers employment. Now uh, these are some high capacity bamboo frames which we have fabricated in IIT Delhi and uh, we have transported this frame to Trinity College Dublin Ireland for testing of these frames. Uh, we have tested those frames in Trinity College Dublin. Uh, we, we, uh, we transported those frames to the structural lab of Trinity College and uh, this is the bamboo portal frame and he is Professor Roger Best who was our supervisor in Trinity College Dublin. And, uh, and this is the bamboo portal frame. We have put this bamboo portal frame in a huge steel frame in which we had tested this frame. Now we had we have fixed the joint with some epoxy material to make the joints rigid. But we have applied 58 strain gauges to each frame and we have tested those frame by applying loads. Now this is this is the picture of frame with the applied loads. What we have done. Uh, we had applied the horizontal load from here and the vertical load from there and we got some very good results with this frame. The results which we got are quite comparable to the frames of reinforced concrete. So we can, uh, we can say that after seeing the results we can say that we can use this frame in the construction of houses, some bigger buildings also. Now this is, uh, now the Dean of Trinity College also came to see about frames there and we, uh, this is the picture of our team in Trinity College. Now this is this is a hexagonal model which we are proposing to make out of these frames. Now this is by multiplying that model we are we can make bigger structures. Similarly, we can make bigger structures, and uh, this is also a model which we can fabricate by using those bamboo portal frames by multiplying all those structures. We can make such buildings by those frames, such big buildings. Thank you. Bamboo is not new to India. It has been used for several thousands of years. But what our research group is striving is to add the dimension of engineering. We are doing all these tests and all these calculations so that we can design these structures just like modern engineers. We are not just relying on the conventional wisdom but we are trying to bring here engineering approach so that we can have a cost effective design which is safe for all the loads. Thank you.